Hey there guys, welcome to my blind playthrough of the Callisto Protocol DLC, the final transmission. So, this DLC released a while back, but I was focused on other things. I didn't even realize it had released. And I saw on Ether's channel that he did a walkthrough of the final transmission DLC. And apparently it's a very short DLC because I believe on uh, Ether's channel, his walkthrough is about an hour long. So, this should be interesting but i have not played this game in a long time because it was a pretty disappointing game this was a three out of ten game if you want to understand exactly what my problems were with the callisto protocol uh you can check out my blind playthrough didn't get a lot of views unfortunately because that was before i had like a thousand subscribers and my channel was barely noticed unfortunately but i just want to get this done right now because i can't really think of any other game i want to go to and I am looking to go back to more Resident Evil content, as I said in the community post. But without further ado, let's get started on this. Oh, and also, uh, before I start, uh, I did purchase some other DLCs with this game. So I got Hardcore Mode, which is slightly harder than Maximum Security Difficulty. And there's also the Contagion Mode, which is the Permadeath Difficulty, which is stupid. And I believe Ether hates that mode. And I can totally understand why, because there are definitely parts of the Callisto Protocol that are very bullshit and badly designed. And there's also that Dismemberment mode, which is just like a, a stupid mode. It's just everything dies very fast and you're able to dismember enemies like it's dead space. It's pretty much a, a cheese mode, just a fun mode. That's all it's meant to be, but obviously it's going to get very repetitive. I'm not touching that mode at all. So that's all I have to say there. Let's get into this. Um... Don't show again. Performance mode on. This game got a lot of patches, by the way. I wonder what the patches fix specifically. So I remember in the ending... Max has been on my case about these Europa oh. runs. We've done jobs like this before. Don't know why he cares so much now. Mayday! 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 This is UJC Karen! Return it to Callisto! Hold on! Wait, why is this cutscene at a lower frame rate? Grab him, too. Also, you can skip cutscenes now in this game. So the game at least goes by a lot faster because of that. Yeah, so it's all just flashbacks of the main game. Just like what's happening in the prison. Yeah, and so they just do the same thing with like markers, except this time it's like an alien specimen. Danny was a bad character in this game. Europa was the terrorist attack. Jacob, what do you got there? I still don't understand this. Like, what was Jacob uh, forgetting that this happened? Did, did something happen? Like, or, like, was he intentionally trying to forget? Like, I, I don't understand this context where, like, when you get to a certain point in the game, he just remembers that he actually smuggled this cargo in, but he apparently forgot about it at the start of the game. I, I don't understand. None of our business. Come on. Got a job to do. I could have stopped this. But I didn't. What about you? in all of this as well. There's no escape for me. Black Iron is where I belong. Late on time. And then this Focus. happens. Just, they pull the alien car out of nowhere. I'm not gonna let her die. You're not the innocent you claim to be. You've proven that you do just about anything to ensure your own survival. Ugh. You listen, listen. I'm sorry for everything. I do belong here. Jacob! Choice. Every choice in your life has led you here. To this moment. To this place. Jacob. And then the warden comes out of nowhere somehow. And he's somehow back to normal as well. 
He's not in that mutated state, which is strange. But see, how does he go back to normal? That doesn't make sense. Like the, the tone was all over the place with this game, I would say. And that final boss of the Kalisto Protocol was so stupid. It was just a dogfight. Oh, Jacob. Alpha to your Omega. You all this me? bullshit. Wake up! Jacob! <sighs> what? Where the fuck am I? It doesn't matter. Just get moving. My lab's up ahead. I'll explain there. Hmm. Okay, I need to remember the... Oh! Oh! Does this game carry your loot from the main game? Does it do that? I don't know. I think it does, because I don't have the pistol. And why are we back here again? This is an environment from the main game. Move, Jacob. I think uh, I have all the upgrades from. Uh... Go, get moving. Will you shut up? I wonder if that, uh, death barrier bug still works. That'll be great if it works. Oh, shit! Hang on. Let me see if this works. If I can actually find a... A good spot to place this guy. Oh, like, what about right here? Oh, it does work! Yes! Oh, that's beautiful to see. That's my favorite part of the game right there. Huh, and interestingly, I... Oh, no, I must have healed myself some- I, I don't know. I don't seem to have taken damage, which is odd. Uh, apparently I have, though. Just a small amount of damage, which is interesting. That's right, the enemies can transform if you're, uh... Not quick to kill them. I believe on the hardcore and contagion mode, they transform a lot faster, so you have to be even faster than before. What happened to Ferris? Ferris, that's what his name was. Why that really I bad villain. Dissociative amnesia. Your mind is protecting itself. Just hurry. <laughs> I promise everything will become okay. clear soon. I never really saw it as dissociative amnesia. The door to my lab is offline. You'll need to open it from there. Wait, isn't... Okay, I was about to say, this resembled, like, one of the earlier parts of the game. Yeah, I do remember I said that the, uh, environments in this game are very boring. Dead Space Remake has better environments. Dead Space Remake is a way better game than this. And I really need to do another walkthrough of, uh, Dead Space Remake, sort of as an apology, because I was very negative towards the, uh, game in certain parts. But I've definitely warmed up to Dead Space Remake. Especially after Resident Evil 4 Remilk released. God damn it. It's always so annoying when your reticle is so far to the right and then the enemies get so close to you and you just end up missing. Even though, it, like, realistically, you should have been able to hit them at that moment. <laughs> oh God, the enemies eat your bullets like crazy in this game. Oops, I had a feeling you would do the free hit combo. He's just standing there now. And that's right, when you dismember a limb, uh, the enemies are only restricted to one attack. I hate how he has to waste time pulling the weapon off his back before he melees. And when you have to use a melee to break 
windows to actually access objects. That's pretty annoying. Oh, that's right. The enemies do uh, friendly fire damage in this game. There we go. And that pushed him into a death barrier. <laughs> oh man, there is a lot I have to get used to again. Come on. Come on, work with me here. And he just keeps sliding off. Not that it matters, I could just throw him into there. There we go. Oh no, I do have the handgun. I thought I got rid of it. Well, actually, you, you can't get rid of the, the guns. Like, he was not swapping weapons for some reason. I don't know if this DLC introduces new enemy types. Oh, we're back in this lab again. Mother, where are you? Yeah, this is literally from the main game. Look for an active console. It must be reset to open the door. The nodes have destabilized. Align them to reset the system. Oh, it it did it solved it by itself. Interesting that it solved by itself. For what? None of this makes any sense. It's just your mind playing tricks. You've been through a terrible trauma. And what about you? There's no escape for me? What changed? You did. I saw what you were willing to do. I regret what I've done, but we have to keep fighting. We have to finish this. Now listen, there's an escape ship waiting for us. Get to the loading bay, and I'll meet you there. Yeah, and then what? Why don't we just fly out of here? We're the most important cargo of all. I've downloaded all of my files to a series of drives. The first one's there. You'll find others along your way. You gave Danny a piece of the puzzle, but recover them all and we can expose Cole. Put a stop to his plans. Yeah. Right, one last job. And fine, I'm in. So what is that thing? It held one of my experiments. It broke free when systems failed. Avoid it if you can. Fight it if you must. This is gonna be like a regenerator something. You're right. One last job. The data contained herein is my confession of my involvement with what transpired at Black Iron. The history of Calipolis and the madness of Duncan Cole. What happened here can never be allowed to spread. The consequences would be no less than apocalyptic. Okay. Maybe there will actually be some interesting audio logs to listen to because every single audio log in the Callisto Protocol in the main game was pointless. It's just a bunch of people rambling about stuff. Nothing that contributes to the story. They have no reason to be audio logs. Keep moving down, past the shoe. The loading bay is just beyond. Elias? Elias? Watch this be a trap. Or not. Okay. Wait. What? Is this mandatory or is this uh, optional? And what is he even picking up? Is this some kind of weird puzzle? What is this? Oh. Still seeing things. Your mind is still recovering. Hallucinations are to be expected. Just keep moving. Keep fighting. 
Okay, th this is weird. I don't know what they're trying to go for with this. The hallucinogenic aspects of the game served no purpose. Block break, that's what I want. This game is definitely a lot better with the upgrades. Just like with Dead Space Remake. At least I don't have a problem with it. If this was Resident Evil, I would have a problem, but... This is the Kaliso Protocol. Or it'd be Dead Space Remake. I wonder why Ether played with the QTEs on. I never did understand why he played with the QTEs on. Get down! Why does it not just lock you into the cover? Why does it have to uh, let you uh, freely control Jacob during that moment? Like, he sees you so fast. I, I don't understand that. So I thought all the Black Iron blew up at the end. It seems it wasn't entirely destroyed. What was that? Something new and indescribable. She doesn't know. Dangerous. Be hmm. careful, Jacob. I remember seeing a comment that. 80% of the game is just crawling through vents and just shimmying through pipes, which it definitely is with this game. I, I don't know why there are so many moments like that with this game. Oh. Okay, well, that, I already knew that was not going to be a threat, because there's no mechanic for defending yourself in vents. That's also no. The prison has changed, Jacob. But don't how? Your guard down for a moment. How could the prison have changed? That doesn't make sense. There's no way a virus could do anything like this. And the self-destruct sequence that occurred, there's no way that could change it. What the? Oh, of course. I, I, I knew there'd be an enemy behind me, because that's just the typical uh, mentality the developers favor, where they like to spawn enemies behind you. You know, one thing that I really loved about Dead Space Remake is being able to use the vents as weapons. The, the fans within the vents could be used as weapons, which is really cool. Oh my god, fighting multiple enemies on this game is not very practical. At least the feedback systems are better than Resident Evil 4 Remilk, that's for sure. Yeah, that was pretty awkward. I know that Ether was able to do the sequence with only the hand cannon, so it's probably possible to do with the upgrades. God, there's so many enemies spawning in this one part. Yeah, the, the block break ability makes the melee less tedious. It's definitely an upgrade worth going for. They're all breaking out of their cells? Shit. And I, I can't move. Running away from enemies is impossible in this game. Because they get so much forward momentum on their attacks. Just let me grab this. And just make a mad dash out of here. If he actually moves fast, because Jacob moves very slowly in this game. It's not why they wanted to do game. Whoa! Ah, come on! Jesus Christ, how, how do you do this? <laughs> yeah, this is... This is pretty messy. Oh, shit! <laughs> That is not good. Alright. <laughs> There's no escaping these guys. <laughs> Again, every time! The reticle's so far to the right, they get so close to you and you end up missing. Come on, there has to be a way to do this. Oh! And they get so much range because of the parrot animation system.
Yeah, th th this is kind of ridiculous for uh, an enemy encounter with this game's clunky combat. And I don't have any riot gun ammo. Gonna have to swap to the revolver at some point. Damn, that's ridiculous. I can't believe they expect you to handle all of those enemies like that. You gotta have a lot of forward knowledge of the spawns and where exactly you, you need to stand if you're going to deal with the sequence. And you can't skip this for some reason. They give you the option to skip cutscenes, yet they don't allow you to speed up these moments right here. I don't understand what is so difficult. Dead Space Remake allowed you to select multiple sets of an animal type. You could buy multiple sets. You didn't have to go one at a time. Like, why is this so hard for them to do? I don't understand. Oh. You can't keep running from what you've done. Jacob, can you hear me? Jacob, what's wrong? Uh, it's okay. I'm okay. Can you tell where you are? I can see the shoe. Or what's left of it. That means you're closer to the loading bay. Be very careful. The path ahead is dangerously unstable. Be prepared for anything. Yeah, so this DLC just reuses a lot of environments from the uh, main game. And I really need to keep my eyes peeled. Because there could be more of those. Yep, like, like that! Like that! I was just about to say that! I was just about to say there were going to be traps like that. I fucking knew that was going to happen. Okay, come here, you. What the hell? He was, he was not locking onto him for some reason. We have more of these blind enemies. Oh, what? Why didn't you grab me earlier? That didn't make any sense. He should have grabbed on to me earlier or something. Be ready for anything. There's a fuse here. Ah, great. Although I think that one's inactive. I'm having a lot of difficulties trying to swap weapons right now. Weapon swapping on this game is awful. My hypothesis is that the biophage is more than just a pathogen. Rather, a sentient intelligence that has existed for perhaps longer than our universe itself. Quite literally, the ultimate survivor. That doesn't make any sense. You think Something that exists longer than the universe would better express itself. Something like that. But instead, it just expresses itself as... Another vector for creating the undead. Should be a lot better than that, surely. Oh, really? That guy again? They love to re overuse that enemy, don't they? What is this? Is it really this kind of puzzle? <laughs> of course it's that kind of puzzle. Strange how they're emphasizing the puzzles a bit more. I don't really see the point. What? What do you mean, what? Oh. Something's wrong. Thanks for the warning, Jacob. I had a feeling there'd be something hiding under the water. 
It's odd the kind of uh, level design they're going for now. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, the, the level design in this DLC is so weird. They're really trying to go for more labyrinthian designs, I would say. The level design with its labyrinthian uh, design allows the uh, threats to be a lot more unassuming, I would say. And because there is a bit of confusion as to where you're supposed to go, it makes it a lot easier for the threats to pin you down. Okay. What's next? We're gonna have a clone of Jacob out of nowhere. Because Jacob was called the ultimate survivor. Vir Solitarius, something like that. And what's with all these insects everywhere? How have they not been affected by the biophage pathogen? Or are they even real? Is this just a part of the hallucination? Wasn't this audio log in the main game? Back here again. Hold on. Jeez, they're they're really up in the ante on these hallucinogenic aspects, aren't they? Am I just going in a circle until something happens, or am I missing something? System error. Is this like that Silent Hill demo? I, I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm just going around in circles until something happens, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand what's expected of me. What's oh, well. Here? It's definitely getting a lot more intense with the insects, so I'm clearly doing something. This really makes no sense. No, 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 that fuse was not there before. Okay, well, I don't understand what's happening. Jesus Christ. The mind is still adjusting, apparently. To the rig that was installed within him. Locate the escape pod. There's nothing there. Yep, so these bugs are tied to a hallucination. Are you there? Forget you. What the hell just happened? I lost your signal for a moment. But it appears you fought through. Some strange shit happened. Fought through? He just went this around in circles. Is with instability, both physical and mental. What do you mean with the area? And keep fighting. What do you mean with the area? What does that mean? What, is there something about like the the signals in this area, the electrical signals that messes with his ray, causing these hallucinations? What are you talking about? And what do you mean he fought through? He was just going around in circles, like any aimless person would. That's not fighting through. You're staying within your hallucination. You're not really fighting through it or thinking of a different solution. It's an endless loop. That's what any severe mental illness might be. An endless loop. You're not fighting through it. I don't understand that. That that's dumb. There's no other way. You have to fight it.
There's a lot of stuff on the ground that's slowing my movement. I can't- I still can't move! How much stuff is on the ground? What is this? Oh, I can dodge it! I didn't think you'd be able to dodge it. I keep misinterpreting my input. I'm trying to dodge, but it keeps thinking I'm trying to block. Well, that doesn't work. You can't uh, stop him from doing that move. Oh, the block break doesn't work on him, it seems. I think this is a melee encounter, just like with Ferris. Reminds me of Resident Evil Death Island with those bio drones. I don't really understand what the bio drones were in Resident Evil Death Island. Were they mechanical? Were they biological? I think they're meant to be similar to um, those drones that uh, U8 used in Resident Evil 5. That's what it reminds me of. But I'm just amazed you were able to melee it Keep because you could not down. do that with the, uh, the, the robots in the main game. I don't think you'd, anyone would be able to survive That's that kind of drop. Keep moving down. Oh, really? Now we're introducing that kind of cheesy line? So interestingly, I did learn that uh, there are cases with actors where they aren't exactly in the same room when they record certain like conversations in the game. That's what they reminded me of. And the only reason I knew this was because um, I saw the Resident Evil podcast team post a spoiler-free review of Resident Evil Death Island, which wasn't really a review, honestly. I don't really understand why they called it a review. But he mentioned that certain lines in Resident Evil Death Island when uh, characters were talking with each other didn't really um, make sense with their responses to certain comments. It's like the actors were in like separate rooms. Or, like They recorded separately. They weren't exactly in the same room with each other. Which I didn't even know that was a thing in acting. When you're uh, voice acting lines. You've reached the factory entrance. The loading bay is on the other side. So there's a factory inside the prison. For the security units, assembly and shipping, with a cargo ship still docked at the loading bay. That thing I fought was no security unit. No, but it started as one. You'll find out more inside. It, it doesn't make any sense. Just the way the hit reaction was with that enemy, with the melee actually working. <laughs> it shouldn't though, but it did. <sighs> Can you slice off limbs? Hold on. Oh my god, no way! They added that mechanic in? <laughs> Interesting. That's insane. They actually added this new mechanic in? I was so hoping for a new mechanic. So they took that mechanic from Dead Space Remake and applied it here. That's awesome. Yeah, that, that is really cool. That's really amazing. And that detection was a little bit awkward. See, my, my question is, what uh, body part does this prioritize, though? I don't know if this always defaults to the legs. It's a little confusing. Okay. 
Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but when the grip is running low on a uh, charge, it makes a beeping noise now. I don't think that was a thing when the game launched. Yeah, so that's amazing. <laughs> like, you, you just gotta look at the smaller details, the lighting. I mean, it's just like in Dead Space Remake. That's why that Chapter 2 encounter in Dead Space Remake is so good. It's probably my favorite encounter in all of Dead Space, <laughs> with being able to use the environment in an interesting way like that, and picking out on the subtle details. Okay, so it seems like when you have auto-QTE on, it solves the puzzles automatically. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed, even though um, Striking Distance Studios didn't even develop Dead Space Remake. Motive Studios, or was it Motive Interactive? I, I don't remember the studio's name. But they designed Dead Space Remake, and Dead Space Remake is one of the greatest, or probably the greatest remake I've ever played of a game. Dead Space 1 was garbage, but Dead Space Remake is significantly better in terms of uh, mechanics, uh, enemy designs, the way they use enemies in the environment, because there's just a lot of unintelligent uh, enemy placements in Dead Space 1, and it really brought the quality of that game down. But Dead Space Remake really made significant improvements, not to mention... Biophage pathogen. At the time, I told myself I was doing this for the common good. But the truth. I couldn't bear to have Cole beat me to the punch. To take credit for my work. But as I was saying, Dead Space Remake made, it, made a significant improvements to the uh, enemy placements. They made the gameplay a lot more interesting. They made the pacing so much better. Yeah, it's truly like a phenomenal game. I really love it. And the story especially, like, the fact that they included elements from Dead Space 2 story and Dead Space 3 story and incorporated it into the remake, it's so much better than what new Capcom does with their remakes nowadays. That amount of confidence to use that kind of uh, retroactive storytelling. Oh shit! Come back here. So Mahler made a man-machine hybrid with the biophage pathogen, and yet she acted like she didn't know what it was when Jacob fought it, which is odd. It's still odd, though, that the biophage pathogen could meld the flesh and the machine parts together. I imagine they're trying to take a similar approach to um, the Twitchers from uh, Dead Space Remake, where um, the stasis units, uh, they meld it with the flesh. And for some reason, it just made them incredibly fast, which doesn't really make any sense. Kill all the enemies. Okay. There we go. There's a hidden passage on the upper floor, like the one back in my lab. Oh. Oh. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to pick it up. Can you get down, please? Can you get down? Hello? Can you get down? He's not getting down, guys. I don't know what's going on. Jacob, what are you doing? Get down! Is this a bug? Am I stuck? Yeah, I think it's a bug. God damn it. That's so dumb. How the hell is that not fixed? Imagine if that was a permadeath difficulty. Yeah, this is why I don't like Permadeath in any game. The only game that got it right was Batman Arkham Origins. Like, developers have to be so overconfident with their games to think that the Permadeath mode is suitable. Just imagine if you just lost an entire run because of a stupid bug. That'd be really retarded. I'm opening the elevator. Keep moving through to reach the loading bay. And... Prepare yourself. What you're about to see... Know that I am no longer that person. Well, you didn't bother disclosing that you knew about the man-machine hybrid from that audio log. So how can I believe your statement now? What is this place? My special projects lab. What the hell were you trying to do here? Something for which there can be no forgiveness. I still don't understand how all of this is intact after the, after the uh, self-destruct sequence. You think the self-destruct sequence would wipe everything out how could anything be left oh my god 
Before you is my greatest sin. For even though Cole and I took different paths, we each had the same goal in mind. Like you, I realize the mistakes I have made. Ironically, this particular mistake may just be our last hope. Oh, so what? You're acting like you were just like Jacob, where you just somehow forgot about everything you did. Like how Jacob just magically forgot that he brought the biophage pathogen on that ship. Is that what you're talking about? I don't, I don't understand. With this dissociative amnesia. No. no escape. You will never escape. Jacob, what's happening? I'm fine. Fuck them up down now. Really? This is a factory. See what you can find. You'll need a replacement to reach the loading bay. I really like that baton. <laughs> really, you're gonna be saying that right now. Hold on, let me just look at Ether's uh, timestamp real quick on this video to see how long this is. Okay, so Ether's recording was about an hour and a half. So it's odd that they're introducing this now where your baton is messed up and now you have to make another one, it seems. How did he not see me? Jesus! Oh shit! Okay, that that was weird. He was not seeing me somehow. Uh oh shit! Okay, they've lost me. At least they don't shoot you like those security drones do. Oh, god damn it. They don't do a lot of damage on maximum security difficulty. This is odd. So you could probably rush through that entire sequence, which can help. Oh, shit. How are they going through these uh, walls here? And this one's just following me. It's somehow going around the corners, yet the other one wasn't. That's pretty weird. That robot, it said something to me. Focus on your goal, Jacob. Find the data drives. Reach the ship. Keep moving. Keep fighting. Well, this is a different take on the environment with the sprinkler system. There, a kinetic hammer. Use the console to open the enclosure. The hammer! Jacob, use it! So we get a brand new melee weapon. R1 charges the hammer, ground slam. Really? Okay, this is kind of clunky. And you get no range on this hammer as well. I don't understand. 
I don't understand how this works. And for some reason there are times when the enemies don't get stunned by the hammer. See, like, why did he not get stunned? Okay, so you can you can combo the R1. This is a bad weapon. I'm sorry. It just it feels weird. It, it doesn't get a lot of range. It has really ambiguous detection at times. Yeah, something's just off with this weapon. I don't know what it is. And now these boxes are magically gone. The Kinetic Hammer is an effective melee weapon against biobots. It is very effective against biophages. The ground slam attack causes area effect damage against multiple enemies. Hold down the R1 button to charge the hammer. Release the R1 button to initiate the attack. Use the Kinetic Hammer to destroy yellow crates. Yeah, but, but I was holding R1. I was holding R1 and nothing was happening. He, he kept slamming it. See, th this is what's happening when I'm holding R1. So I, I don't understand. So he's not even like charging it. He's just slamming it immediately when I'm holding R1. So I don't understand. So, and, and it has ambiguous detection. Like, I, I don't understand. This weapon is so weird. But R1 is just the way to go, it seems. The R1 attack is very powerful. And see, it just doesn't get any range. You have to get this enemy near a wall or something. Because they get knocked back so far, you're not in melee range. This is so bizarre. <laughs> I imagine all the, uh, the dumb survival horror guys are like, Oh, now it's more action-oriented! All this bullshit. Dude, I don't give a fuck about that. I just want the mechanic to work, that's all. And this mechanic just feels very weird. This is still a survival horror game, guys. It's it's just very clunky with this detection on the kinetic hammer. You're getting close. I'll meet you at the ship. Quickly, Jacob. I don't know how much longer we have. See, like, look at this! You Comboing the R1 is so fucking clunky and badly designed. Yeah, I have to not uh, frame advantage them because they have the faster attacks. Look how fucking terrible the detection is! And charging this hammer doesn't do anything. It still does the same attack. It's because, um... Hold on. Let me change my controls real quick. I think it's because I have, um... The accessibility option on for, uh... Holding the button. Where is it? Let's see what happens. Yeah, th that, that's fucking retarded, guys. They didn't design the mechanic to accommodate that hold option. So if you have the combat assist option, where you're able to hold the melee button to just continue comboing, it messes with the mechanic. That's why it's being buggy right now. Or not buggy, that's why it's just being badly designed. It's because of this melee assist option. How the fuck did they not design that properly? That's so retarded. Like, come on, this should have been one of the first things. That they looked at when QA testing the hammer. Are you serious right now? So let's see what this does. Yeah, this doesn't really do anything. Yeah, th th this isn't doing anything. It's not doing anything different to what I previously set up. And look, why did they get launched back so much? You can't combo the R1 properly! God damn it! This is so dumb! Who QA tested this mechanic? It's awful! It's terrible! What were they thinking? Jacob, I don't know how much longer we have. 
Hey, there's a shitty detection again. Look at this. Is that barrier detection at a distance? How much longer we have. Maybe that's barrier detection at a distance. Might be that. God damn, that fucking detection is terrible. It works better at distance, it seems. That's so re retarded. I don't know why I keep trying to frame advantage them. It's not gonna work. I think I have to kill them in order to break the lockdown. If they didn't get launched away so much, I could actually combo them properly. Finally. That one at least. What a dumb mechanic. Oh, come on, more of them. Look, he's not even going forward. What's wrong with him? Jesus Christ, how can they QA test this game and release it? That, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just use the uh, R1 after an R2 or something. I don't know. I don't know what the best choice is. Ow. That was really stupid. That's a dumb sequence. You're gonna have to be so overly technical in your approach if you're going to bypass the poor designs at play. How incompetent do you have to be to test this mechanic and consider it ready for release? It doesn't make sense. Wow, that, that horizontal strike doesn't even hit multiple enemies. I'm, I'm dead. God damn it. I keep blocking on accident. What a stupid mechanic too, with tying the block to backing up. There's the crappy hit detection again. Again, crappy hit detection. What is happening? Charging doesn't mean a goddamn thing in improving that hit detection. I need to hide around the corner or something, so that way the enemies don't immediately hit me. Here we go again, crappy hit detection, awesome. Expertly designed gameplay. Yeah. You have to be overly technical if you're going to no damage this or uh, survive. God damn, why were there so many of them? Jesus Christ, fucking hit detection again. Why are they running away? Okay, these ones aren't real. And I'm dead. God damn it. Oh, I fucking hate this sequence. Look at that, they all just run away. What's up with that? Jesus Christ. Every time! Every single time I keep trying to frame advantage him because I'm afraid there are other enemies around. Oh, come on. More of them? This is pretty bad. They're just mindlessly throwing enemies at you. And this is for a game that has pretty bad melee combat. Yeah. 
Fuck this, I'm not gonna make any progress if I don't move forward. Oh shit, god damn it, I'm dead. Yeah, th this is fucking brain dead, guys. I don't know what was going on with the developers when designing this stupid section. Yeah, I much prefer the main game. This DLC is... Ah, great. Okay, that was just a hallucination. I should have known that'd be a bad idea. I don't know, it's kind of hard to take this seriously now, because of how badly designed it is. And how uh, mindless the enemy placements are at this point. I'll have to see how Aether did this section. Whoa! Of course this guy's still alive. Jesus Christ, look, the fucking game is falling apart right now. Now the enemies are getting stuck on objects when I'm trying to pull them. Oh dear god, Th this is so bad. This is so fucking bad. This is worse than the main game at this point, I can't believe it! And I'm stuck on this goo or whatever it is. This biomass. Yep, doesn't make a fucking difference! At least you can dodge while charging. Yeah, there's no fucking difference if you charge it or not. What the- what's the fucking point of charging it if it does nothing? And the only thing I can think of as to why the enemies are not getting killed at close range is because of the way the hammer has to work with not damaging uh, Jacob in the process. It's like there's a safe area around Jacob that allows the hammer to not damage him and if the enemies are close to him, they don't get affected, I don't know. But then he should be doing better strikes. Of course, then again, I could be using uh, R1. Oh, I'm sorry, R2. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, all these are fake. That is so bad. What a dumb way to get introduced to a new mechanic. The end of Zoe DLC from Resident Evil 7 introduced the AMG 78 in a far more interesting and engaging way. And it wasn't broken. Like, that was just so far below the baseline of incompetency, I would say. I'm here, Jacob. You must hurry. Please let this end already. Th this is... This is like a, a 1 out of 10. No, like a 0.5 out of 10 at this point. The leads down to the loading bay. I'm waiting for you on the ship. And we're just locating more fuses. Jeez, could you get more unoriginal with your objectives at this point? We've located way too many fuses at this point. It, it's stupid. I can't believe the developers could be this Almost stupid. There, Jacob. I genuinely cannot believe it. Jacob! What are you doing here? The ship's close, we just have to reach the loading bay. Watch out! Oh my god! Yeah, no surprise there that she would die. Yeah, the, the, the hit detection on this AoE, like, how did it hit that guy all the way from there? When at times it doesn't do that. Wow, how the hell did he frame advantage me and just immediately attack after that?
Yep, and there's no stopping that. You have to use the AoE. Yeah, it's impossible to engage in normal melee combat with this guy. Oh, come on, really? Like, why did he immediately attack? They're supposed to recover! Wow, look at that detection again. Didn't even stun him. I don't know why. The fucking DLC is just dying at this point. And I can't go forward. Like, why was he not going forward? What is wrong with the parrot animation system? I don't know what's going on. And look, like, look, again. I'm in the middle of dodging him, I'm trying to get away, but the game is just sticking me to this guy. And so, that enemy fired this projectile and I couldn't move or react or do anything. WHAT IS HAPPENING?! WHAT IS WRONG WITH THE FUCKING HIT DETECTION?! I really want to say this is worse than Resident Evil 4 Remake, but this is just with bugs. If we're talking about a supposedly functional experience, I don't know, like if this was actually functional, maybe there would have been something better than Resident Evil 4 Remake, but... Oh my goodness, Th this is so bad. This is so fucking terrible. No, it's, it's way below that, way below the baseline level of incompetency. They didn't fucking care. They really didn't fucking care with this DLC. If the fucking hit detection's this bad, this is the worst hit detection I've ever seen in a fucking game by far. Not even the knife detection in Resident Evil 4 Remilk when you're trying to execute enemies is this bad. Here we go again. Right next to me and he didn't fucking flinch. Because the hit detection's so fucking broken. And he blocked us then, even though I was holding to the side. And I'm dead, because the... The fucking dodge is just unresponsive right now. Uh, even when I'm holding the button, it's still not improving the aid detection. I thought it was, but it's not. Why is the R1 the only move that can stop that? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. I mean, how much the animations are so heavy on this game. You can't reliably select the correct move if you end up inputting the wrong command. Yep, again, that is so dense of the developers to restrict that move to only being interrupted by the R1. Yeah, I'm not going to hit them unless they charge, because every time I try to hit them during any other period, they just cancel their animation and immediately attack. Like, do they really have to put two at the same time? Do they not understand their own core designs without they design the melee? This game is not built for handling multiple enemies in the melee. Okay, and he died out. If only there was an interesting way to punish that move, but there isn't. See, why did that hit him just then? Oh, the fucking hit detection, it's so fucking shit. Oh, dear lord. I feel like I need to hit the arms or something. I think it's my other option. I see, you saw him? Did you see an animation cancel just then? He was about to punch me. I was very fortunate I killed him just then. Yeah, never ever try to attack them when they get recoiled like that, when they get knocked back by your slam. Because they just cancel immediately. Don't understand. Why wasn't she on the ship? That doesn't make any sense. 
Yeah, th this has to be one of the worst DLCs Mahler. I've ever played in all of gaming history. Mahler. I gotta find her. I gotta get that hatch open so I can help her. I can't believe they hate this game so much, they've now devolved the game to mindless combat. Endless, mindless combat. And with shit in detection like that. Yeah, this just goes to show that they hate their fucking game. Almost reminds me of what Rocksteady did with the Catwoman's Revenge DLC for Batman Arkham Knight. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. I, I really do not know what's worse. But actually, this DLC is worse. Because at least the beginning of the Catwoman's Revenge DLC was pretty fun. And then it just devolved into complete broken insanity. Again, animation cancel garbage. Terrible at detection. Oh, that. Okay, so that did stun him. I could probably use that. I've never played a DLC quite like this. I've never played a DLC this unfinished and this unpolished. And it's been weeks since this DLC released, and they haven't fixed any of the fucking bugs with the melee. And then they put so many enemies into single encounters that the gameplay just completely falls apart. Oh, I'm supposed to go up here. Okay. Oh, great. I'm not gonna attack him. I knew there'd be another one. I fucking knew it. So I'm just gonna skip all of you guys. Oh dear lord. This is like a, a 10 to the negative 1 out of 10 right now. I do belong here. I think it's supposed to go here. Okay. Please end already. I'm, I'm really getting sick of this. There are no words to describe just how badly playtested this entire DLC is. So unoriginal with everything. So many bad designs. So many stupid enemy types. Every choice in your life has led you here. To this place. This moment. Rise, Dick. Rise, Dick. Come keep running from what you've done. From what you've done. I, re I really don't care anymore about the story. They're not even bringing up the alien life forms for some reason. Please fucking end. Please end. Oh, it's not gonna end, of course, because of the printing station right over there. Yeah, don't touch this DLC. Just don't. Yeah, the, the Callisto Protocol is really shaping up to be one of the worst games ever made. It was already like that during the main game with its 3 out of 10 quality, but this is just so far below what it means to be a, a DLC or a functional product. It's like they constructed this DLC over the span of like a month. Which obviously is not going to work in the context of designing a DLC. Seriously. Yep, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Well, she does the same thing as the biodromes or whatever they're called. Did that really damage me? There's no way that damaged me.
Just throws me away. <laughs> We're just fighting Mahler for no reason. And well, yeah, you probably have to use the slam to stop that move. And I'm stuck in the animation, so I can't fucking move. Well, this is definitely a bit more interesting than uh, Captain Ferris. But unfortunately, you can't get away from that move. I don't know how. Jeez, how do you have time to stop that move? Or does she always do it after she throws you away? And see, like, she doesn't get stunned. None of the enemies get stunned after you use that slam and you fall off with an R2. Okay, I think she's gonna do the slam right now, so I'm gonna... And there we go! There we fucking go with the fucking hit detection again! How the hell did Ether put up with this? How did he put up with this? How did he not get screwed by these stupid issues with the hit detection? That seemed to do a lot of damage to her, and it stopped her as well. Hmm. Okay, so you can get around that move, actually. Oh, that was delayed. That was delayed as well. What the hell is up with that? Is she gonna slam? And there was nowhere to fucking go. And it kills you instantly? What the hell? Uh, yeah, you, you gotta wait until their weak spot exposes before using the canisters. That is so annoying that that move can hit you through geometry. Jesus Christ, how do you have time to get away? <laughs> and they, you, you can't rely upon the crap detection on the slam. We'll only melee her twice. At least there's no lingering fire or anything. That was close. Yeah, only melee her twice. Holy shit! Oh god. God, she's, she's very beefy with her health. Oh no. Yeah, there's no way for me to get away from that. Oh! She's likely not going to be dead, because that's just how this studio likes to work. Yep, just as I fucking predicted. Dude, what's up with the body language like that? I mean, it's... That's like the, the kind of thing you'd see in some comical movie.
with them holding their hands out to the side like this and making all the weird gestures with their body. That doesn't look right. We have to hurry, Jacob. There's still a chance. Please fucking end. Please fucking end. And he's re-experiencing this again. Are you with me? Are you serious? Come on. Come on. Come on. Final report, Dr. Caitlin Marler. I found him in the Warden's Tower and dragged him here. His link to Danny's core still active. I use this connection to upload the full details of the experiment. Whether it will be received, I can't say. But it was our only hope to get the truth out there, to turn his sacrifice into opportunity. Data transfer complete. Jacob, you did it. And now, your fight is done. Okay. That's it? <laughs> what a shit DLC! That's the worst DLC I've ever played, by far. Now, I'm not talking about, like, Ghost Survivors from Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'm not talking about, uh... Other Resident Evil content that was really lackluster. I mean, that, that has to be interpreted from a different context. For a story DLC. Which is supposed to have a lot of ambition, a lot of, like, care put into it, a lot more effort put into it. This was fucking appalling. This is a 10 to the negative 10 out of 10. That's the score I'm giving it. This is so fucking bad. What a waste of time. That was so unfulfilling in so many ways. I didn't even touch upon what happened with the aliens. And like, oh, we're just bringing this evidence to light? Like, how? I, I don't understand. And then the mechanics of this DLC were so fucking broken. That hammer was so broken. They had really shit at detection. The lunge had problems. The enemies were very bullshit. They used the enemies so poorly. They threw so many of them at once. And it doesn't fit the core designs of the game at all. The boss fight with Mahler was decent. I do like it a bit more than Captain Barris. But it's not enough to salvage the sheer lack of quality. That is of a whole other level of lacking quality. Not like Resident Evil 4 Remilk bad, but this is clearly an unfinished product that is so unpolished and should never have been released. They just rushed this DLC out the door because they had no clear vision of what they wanted to do. And that bled into the poor designs at play with this fucking DLC. I don't understand, guys. I don't understand how they could do so poorly. Glenn Schofield, the original director of Dead Space, made such a broken pile of shit DLC. Dead Space Remake could have delivered a better DLC, honestly. They really could have. Dead Space Remake doesn't need a DLC, though, because they're already going to be following it up with a potential Dead Space 2 remake game, which I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, the, the original director of Dead Space is out of his league, honestly. He's fallen just like uh, Ambosan. The, the, the director of Resident Evil 5, Ambosan, who made one of the greatest Resident Evil games ever made, made Resident Evil 4 Remilk. The worst remake, the worst game, and the worst Resident Evil game I've ever played by far. What a waste of time. Yeah. Do not play this DLC. Don't even play this game, guys. It's an absolute waste of time. Go to Dead Space Remake. Dead Space Remake is such a great game. And I really need to do another walkthrough of it. I did not expect the quality of this DLC to be this shit. I, I really didn't, guys. I didn't think they would fall into new Capcom levels of stupidity right here. At least, like, the beginning had some promise, and there were some moments with the level design that were kind of interesting. 
but it was not enough to salvage what this DLC became. I don't understand how development of this DLC went. It doesn't feel like it was built over the span of months. It just feels like it was built over the span of one month. Like, how fragmented do you have to be to not even do something as simple as QA test hit detection on a weapon? Or even have common sense to realize that the way you place the enemies is not befitting for the game's core designs. What the hell's wrong with you? And I really need to watch Ether's channel just to understand how he did this DLC with just the handgun. It doesn't make any sense. There is no story here at all. There wasn't meant to be a story, it seems. There wasn't even meant to be a DLC, it seems, with how shit the quality is. Yeah, I'm just gonna get started on uploading this blind playthrough. I'll probably just put it all into... I'll probably just put it all into one video. That's probably how it will go. Thank you guys for watching.